With the signing of agreements of the JFK Airport Gateway Project contract completed, Minister of Tourism Vincent Vanderpool Wallace is saying, Nassau Paradise Island has one of the highest room rates in this region and our infrastructure must be in place. Nassau International already is the second busiest airport in the entire Caribbean area. So when we start talking about the level of traffic we're receiving today, compared to what we expect to happen uh, over the course of the next several years, it's very clear that the volume of traffic that we'll have along that road is going to be quite uh, substantial. Prime Minister the Right Honorable Hubert Ingram says that the Airport Gateway Project will not only enhance the visitor's experience, but it will also improve the quality of life of Bahamian residents. Construction of a new dual carriageway, four lanes in total along JFK. A new westbound carriageway will be constructed to the south of the existing roadway. We will rotate the existing carriageway for eastbound traffic. They will be constructed nine new roundabouts, underground utilities, underground installation of all electrical services, 132 kV, 33 kV, and 11 kV, and low voltage cables, the relocation of telecommunications and cable infrastructure, dense landscaping, and completion of ancillary works, that is the drainage, signage, road markings, street lighting, accessories, etc., etc. The project will cost some $71 million, which includes all related customs duties, license fees, and work permits. The China Export Bank will be financing the loan of $58 million U.S. million with a concessionary interest rate of 2% per annum, a rate that the Prime Minister says is lower than any other development bank for the Bahamas. The nation's leader outlined the workers to be engaged on the project. It's expected that some 120 Bahamians will be engaged directly on the project through subcontractors. It's expected also that by September 2012, the foreign labor component will drop to 80 workers. And following completion, some 10 to 20 workers will remain to conduct testing and the complete training of Bahamian maintenance crews. The JFK Airport Gateway Project is expected to be completed by October 2012. For the Tourism Today Network, I'm Gina Seeley.